Just standing there. Smoke them. It's a damp, cold Manitoba morning, right at the crack of dawn, and a perfect opportunity to help out local farmers by bagging some coyotes. I'm out here today with my new friend Steve, who's actually a subscriber and has invited me to try out some coyote hunting for the first time on some of his fields. And after a tough deer season, I am eager to find some redemption. All right, boys, here we are. First time coyote hunting. Uh, we're set up in the field right now. We got the stand set up. We just put the bread goal out into the middle of the field. I'd say about uh, 100, 130 yards out from where our stand is. Uh, there's a bush line like right over there that we figure they'd be coming out of. So that's where we're gonna direct the calls towards. Uh, just move and park the truck back there. Um, sort of tucked it away into the tree line and making my way towards the stand right now. And uh, we'll get set up. Let's go. When hunting coyote or other predators, we use what's called a predator call, which mimics sounds of various prey species in distress and other sounds that may draw the predator in. In this case, I'm using an electronic one, which can be placed in the middle of the field and controlled via remote from the blind. Action can happen quick. So rule number one is don't call until you're fully set up and ready. So the calls that we're using mainly is cottontail rabbit in distress. So all we're doing is we're setting up the call, we're, we're doing the calls um, pointed to, towards an area that we think the coyotes are going to be coming from, uh, from the bush. And uh, we run the call for like two to three minutes and then pause it for five minutes. Um, and then run the call for two, three minutes and then pause it for five minutes and wait. And we just keep on doing that. Once you start calling, action happens fast. Not two, three minutes into the call and a coyote comes out at 250 yards, allowing us to take a first shot at it. Oh shit, it wasn't recording. Are you shitting me? Oh no. <laughs> but we hit the record button not realizing right, so it was already recording. One coyote just come out. He was at about 250 yards, I think, right? Uh, I took a shot. We thought it was a hit, but uh, I guess it was a miss, but there's a whole bunch of hair right over here, right there. And he was standing here, so he pissed himself <laughs> right there. But... Uh, we don't see any blood, so it kind of just grazes fur or something. Damn, those quick delos, like, we were like 10, 15 minutes in. That was, and we got a you were still first. screaming when it was out. Yeah. That, was, that call sequence was only, what, two minutes? Yep. Damn, though, I can't believe I missed that. But that was just like it was planned. Yeah. Came out right where we thought he was going to come out. Yeah, he did come out right where he thought he was going to come out. Right in this he corner. He didn't see you at all. No. Nope. Alright, we're going to let this spot rest. Uh, we're going to go to a different spot a couple miles down the road and uh, set up at another field over there and uh, call out there and see if anything comes out. We're at the next spot right now. We've got the bread call set up right out there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera right now. But uh, set. we are going to set the blind up just right here in the bush line. We've seen some coyote tracks right by that bush line already. So, yeah, then we'll start calling here. And apparently, if it, if, if, once you start calling, they, it happens so fast. Like, last time it was within like 10-15 minutes of calling. So this time, 
You gotta be very, very ready. Let's go. Before getting started, I like to use my rangefinder to range out the various range spots the coyotes like may come out from, just in case I need to make a quick shot when the time comes. Before moving to the spot, we actually stayed at the previous field for a couple more hours calling to no avail. As it turns out, coyotes are pretty clever and once you blow your cover the first time, they most likely won't respond again. Yeah, that's not, that's not a coyote, that sounds like a... Yeah, it sounds cat-ish. Like a freaking... Alright, it's been a few minutes, let's play some more calls. There was something in that bush for sure. We both heard there was there. something in that bush. From the corner of our eyes, we see something moving in the bush line about 25 meters to the right of our stand. It looked like it came out briefly, then went back into the bush. We had the calls paused at that time, but turned the call back on to see if we can lure him back out. Then as he came out of the bush, he might have caught sight of either my truck or us in the blind and just starts booking it across the field. He came from 25 meters and ran all the way up to about 230 meters away in just a few seconds. As he zips across the field, we try whistling to get him to stop for a shot. But turns out neither one of us know how to whistle, and my heart is sinking as I'm watching this opportunity fly by right before my eyes. But then, out of nowhere... Stand there. Smoke. Got him. That was a hit. I didn't take long. Hell yeah, buddy. All right. Holy <laughs> shit. Boys, we just got one. We just got one. He came up right there, right from this, our bush line right here. He was like 20, 25 meters out. And then he started zipping across there. And he was running so fast, we, we tried to call to, uh, to stop him. But he was just zipping across the field over there. Had to pull out the range finder, get the proper range. Finally, we got him to stop at about 230 meters. And then boom, we took the shot. Sealed he the went deal. down this time. We're gonna go over there and take a look. Let's go. Are you ready to go have a look at this thing? Let's go the peak. The first shot that I missed, boys, that was just coyote fever. Had the shakes, man. Probably snatched the trigger. This time we dropped them. Walking right up now. Oh yeah, man, he dropped instantly. Look at that. Oh, he's out cold. He is out cold. All right, there we go, guys. Remington 700 PCR. Made it happen today with this coyote. Although I didn't film my deer tag the past deer season, I found my redemption through this coyote. Just goes to show, sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Thanks for watching the video, hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.